Hello YouTubers, fellow skeptics who aren't afraid to look behind the facade, even you poor scared people who choose to cling on to a lifetime of conditioning and indoctrination. You've probably seen a few curvature test videos by now, maybe even my Wellington Harbour curvature tests. Basically, people all over the world have been taking pictures of mountains, buildings, islands, etc., which, assuming that we live on a globe as we've been taught, should not be visible. Or not be visible all the way down to sea level, as shown here. Those still clinging to outdated models will insist that it's all an illusion, a mirage. Quite literally. They maintain that light is bent due to differences in air temperature, shifting objects which should be hidden under the horizon into view. They'll say that this effect is most evident when looking over bodies of water due to water changing the temperature of the air closest to the surface. So according to the current model that we've all been taught all our lives, images like these are just an illusion. Obviously we can't trust our senses. I was thinking, if that was so, we should be seeing some kind of spherical distortion, however minor, due to the fact that the light must curve around a ball. Not only that, photos taken of the same distant object should differ vastly when taken at different times of the day and year due to temperature difference between the water and the atmosphere. To test this, I've gone out and taken some more photos of the southern mountains and the Kaikoura ranges from roughly the same spot, mostly the west side of Ofido Bay. I've cobbled them together into panoramas in Photoshop just so we've got the maximum possible resolution to work with. This should give us a decent range of conditions, so according to the ballers, we should be seeing a different image, or well, some differences in these images, so um, let's have a look. What I'm doing is comparing the mountain line on each photo, and well, oh, it's looking pretty damn similar. Same proportions, um, other than the fact that some of the photos are taken from different places, so we've got slightly different angles on the mountains, but overall that's looking suspiciously like I'm getting exactly the same optical image of the mountains each time, as in the light comes at me straight, we're seeing the same mountains in the background, the same proportions, and what else can I conclude? But the earth is flat, there's nothing else for it. You'd have to have some pretty severe cognitive dissonance at this point to actually believe that that is caused by refraction, light bending because of temperature differences. It's quite frankly ridiculous. Like, did you see that? So I have to show it again. I will have another look at this and get past that cognitive dissonance, people. Like, it's flat.